Man, hopefully you guys are having a good day. I want to talk to you guys about being an opportunist and why I feel like we should really be celebrating ourselves being opportunists because we're not leaving anything on the table. I used to feel bad about being an opportunist and I'm not taking advantage of people. I'm taking advantage of situations within organizations, within companies within scenarios. I'm seeing vulnerabilities and procedure and methods and tactics. I'm seeing these weaknesses and I'm using those weaknesses to my advantage. Guys, my whole life, my sister, my sister raised me, very strong woman, love her to death, but she would always get on me. She'd be like, E-man, pay attention, pay attention, right? Because I could never pay attention to my surroundings. And one day, I was a grown man last year at the age of 27 and I truly started paying attention for the first time ever, or at least truly paying attention. And I became an opportunist. And this was something that I used to look down upon because I was using a vision that other people didn't have. I was using a weakness or vulnerability that other people didn't see. So I felt like because I had the upper hand, if I win or if I get what I what I want and what they also want, I feel like I cheated, right? Until one day I decided I'm going to be an opportunist and I'm going to apply for a job that I am underqualified for. So I applied to this job at one of the top banks in the world, globally, not just here in America. I am not qualified in this field whatsoever. I tell them I have a bachelor's degree. I tell them I have a bachelor's degree. I kill the interview, they hire me. I have to do a background check, which includes my education. Normally in background checks, they don't include the education that thoroughly. But for this bank, because they're one of the top banks in the world, they pulled my education. They called me back. It turns out they found out that I didn't have a degree, right? Right around holiday time, guys. So I'm not saying you should do this, right? I am I am not your role model. I'm, I'm only one person's role model. Now it's my son, EJ. Daddy love you if you're watching this, son. So they give me a call saying that they found out I didn't have a degree. They wanted me to explain myself. I told the HR lady slash recruiter that I did whatever it took to feed my family. I am capable of doing the job. I just don't have that stupid piece of paper because I couldn't afford to go to college. I didn't say it just that way, but of course you got to sprinkle it in. You got to put some sugar. You got to put some sugar and frosting in there when you're typing and you got to, you know, kiss ass a little bit. I let her know what was up. She said, I'll get back to you. They emailed me three days later saying that I get to keep the job. And on this job, before they found out, for this job, before they found out I didn't have a degree, I actually negotiated my salary for $5,000 more yearly. And I've never made this amount of money before, guys. It was for $55,000. They wanted to give me 50. I said 55. They said deal. I was like, yeah, right? Because I was only making $45,000 last year. It was a giant come up for me. Your boy's geeked, right? I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba, like McDonald's. So yeah, man. And this was real eye-opening to me. And I've been at this job for five weeks now. And these checks are looking pretty. Things are looking up, right? And this is just a start. I'm just, I'm, I'm just turning the stove on. I ain't done cooking yet. Like for real. Like let's get real. I'm coming for it all. Your boy's trying to make 75 bands before the age of 30. I turned 29 in March. Let's get it. But from here on out, bro, and I don't know about you guys, especially in this, in this economy. From here on out, I'm being an opportunist. I'm taking what's mine. Don't ask me if I got it yet. It's already in my pocket. <laughs> like for real. And it's hard out here. It's cold out here. These bills are due every single month. These banks don't care. I've worked for two banks. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is the money. All this country runs on is money. All this world runs on is that paper. Don't get it twisted, right? 
Now, money ain't everything. I talk about things that are non-materialistic in other videos. And I have lighter tone, a lighter tone and much more humor in other videos. This is a real ass video I'm making right now. But it's all about that paper. It's all about that check. Okay? Like, don't get it twisted. People, you got men complaining about child support, which is unfair. I'm not saying they shouldn't if you have an issue <clears throat> or if something is designed poorly. But what people fail to understand is that your child support is taxable income. Why would they get rid of something that is taxable income for 18 years? You're paying child support for 18 years and that's being taxed. Why would they change that? What else in your life can they guarantee tax for 18 years? <clears throat> you can't bankrupt. You can't go bankrupt out of child support. Okay. And work, work, work it out with your baby mamas, by the way, and vice versa. Work it out with your baby daddies. Family is everything. But th there is nothing else besides student loans that they can tax ruthlessly, consistently for 18 years straight besides a house and student loans. Property tax, student loans, child support. That's it. Everything else you could pay off. Vehicles, you know, excluding, excluding like, you know, purchases at the store and stuff. But they, even that's not consistent, you know, because once you buy it, it's yours. They can't keep taxing you. So my whole thing is, is money makes this world go round. Money don't buy happiness, but it damn sure buys you options, flexibility, freedom of choice. You know, your stress is a lot lower when you know the lights ain't going to be cut off. So with that being said, be an opportunist. Take every opportunity that you can to get what you want. Whether whether or not people like it or not, if no one directly is getting hurt, who cares? For real. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, you took a job from somebody that went to college, that worked hard for four years, and, and now they don't have a job. That's not my problem. You know what is my problem? Making sure that I get this money. That's it. <laughs> it's a doggy dog world out here. Now, with that being said, guys, you should not take advantage of others. You shouldn't. You sh you shouldn't break the rules, but you should definitely bend them. People bend the rules every day. There are mega churches out here making millions of dollars, tax free income. Want to know how I know? I work in tax. I know I handle tax for churches and for and for Jewish synagogues like, bro, they're making millions paying goose egg in taxes. It's all about that paper. It's all about that money. And nine times out of 10, if it's not health related, most of your life issues, most not all. Right. Because you can't change who you are. But most people's issues in this country, especially people my age, I'm 28. I know the hair makes me look like I'm 40. I need to shave. Most people my age can have all of their problems go away by just getting a bag. By just getting a bag. And you getting that bag may look like you saying you have a degree when you don't. It may look like you working at a company when you never did. It may look like you putting extra years of experience on your resume. Who cares? Okay, who cares? If you could do the job, whether you're qualified, unqualified, go for it. If you're not sure that, that you can do the job, but you think that you can catch up and, and get, the, get the skills needed to, to just squeak by, go for it. Go for it. You know, they'll catch you back up to speed. And if not, and they fire you, go to another company doing the exact same job. Ask for more money because you have experience and then you have even higher chance of keeping that job than the first one. And you'll be at a much higher pay scale. It's just being an opportunist, guys. I see it every single day. I've seen people like uh, working in banking. I've worked now as a tax associate. Previously, I've worked as a mortgage servicing specialist and helping people with their loans, whether it be their home equity lines of credit, their personal loans, you name it, credit cards. All I see is people taking advantage of the system, not the system itself, right? But the way it's designed, they know the rules. They know the perimeter. They know what you can and cannot do. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're taking full advantage. They're opportunists. 
Take advantage of it, man. Take advantage of it. I am. I 100% am.